Welcome guys to Dogs of War YouTube channel. Um, today we have an unboxing of the new Star Wars X-Wing Rebel Aces. Um, it's not out yet, but we managed to get an early copy. And today I have here Josh. Hi guys. Um, so let's start it off. Um, let's start with the B-Wing. Yep. Um, one of the, I'm going to go with the pilots first. So you have a generic blue squadron pilot B-Wing. Um, it's pilot skill 2. Um, three attack dice, one defense dice, uh, three okay. hull, and five shields. Um, it comes with uh, a focus, a target lock, and uh, it's called a barrel roll. Barrel roll. Um, you, we got a sensor upgrade, a cannon upgrade, and two torpedo upgrades. Okay. Uh, which and all of the B wings share those stats. So that's just that's, that's normal. Uh, the only ones that get the pilot skill upgrade are the two named pilots okay. here. So and it's twenty two points. Um, so since you are one of our resident experts, is that mm -hmm. generic stats for a B wing? Yeah, that that's your two skill B wing uh, in a nutshell. Um, so this is the same card as the one you buy with the B wing. Yep, with the B wing, as okay. well as the next card as well, the oh. Dagger Squadron. So they're the same ones that comes in the normal B wing. So I'm um, not going to go through the whole just the, process. But it's the same as the one before, just four skill for an extra two, two points. points. So so let's get to the meaty stuff. And here we go with the name ones. We got oh boy, pronunciation is not my strong suit. Uh, Nira Dental Dentals. Um, when you perform a, well, you can perform a secondary torpedo weapon attack against ships outside your firing arc. What that means is essentially your torpedoes have a 360 firing arc. Okay. Which is kind of amazing, especially with uh, advanced tor uh, proton torpedoes, which is a five dice turn three focus into hits. So you're getting a lot of flexible firepower with this ship it's only skill five uh, for 26 points so it's still a good price range for its ability but you're only getting really two shots out of it for the entire game as torpedoes are one shot because torpedoes are one shot and you only can have two on a b-wing and the skill the cards you could put oh in? he does have a pilot skill Upgrade as well as the sensor cannon and two torpedoes. Torpedoes. Um, so then, you think he will see play? Um, you're most definitely going to see weapon failsafe on him, and have him have two torpedoes, and he's just going to be a little fail safe does. Uh, when you miss with a torpedo, wait, with a secondary weapon action that would discard it, you don't discard it. So, so you only discard it if you hit. Oh, okay. So it allows you to keep those expensive torpedo and missile upgrades that you're spending your points on, and you keep them until you actually get to use them. That's a good. That's a good combo right there. Um, so the other one is um, pilot skills. Oh, the neg um, The previous one is skill five. Yeah. Uh, this one's skill seven. Um, same stats, um, with an ability that says, when attacking, you may remove one stress token to change all of your um, eyeballs or focus to hits. Um, this is Kian Farlander. And it's Kian Farlander. I forgot about that name. Um, 29 points, and he has oh, a pilot skill upgrade also. Which means he's going to run push the limit forever and always. What does push the limit does? Uh you take an action to um, perform two actions and receive a stress token, which feeds into his ability of when attacking, you can remove a stress token to turn all your focus icons into hits. Oh, wow. So he's going to target lock, focus, or uh, because he has a barrel roll, you could parrot roll, focus, target lock, barrel roll, all these good things, and that stress that you have on him from the push the limit is there as your offensive focus. You still keep your defensive focus for dodging and stuff. 
Um, oh wow! So he's definitely he is going to see a lot of play, a lot. Um, whether it's going to be just him with push to limit, maybe some advanced uh, advanced sensors, uh, which allows you to take your action before your uh, before you reveal your movement. So you'll be able to take your, both of your actions, or just one of them? Uh, both of them. Wow! As long as you do not do a red maneuver. It's okay. Which, unfortunately for the B-Wing, there are a lot of red maneuvers on the uh, B-Wing's movement dial. Um, so you think from all the pilots, except for the, the two pilots, he's right. the Out he's of the, the two name pilots, uh, Farlander is definitely going to see significant more play than uh, Nira. But, mm, but Nira has its bonuses of if you want to play a gunboat kind of game. Yeah. So that's the B-Wing pilots. Um, for the A-Wings, we have the 2A generic A-Wings that you got in the A-Wing pack. The prototype pilot at skill 1. Yeah. 2 attack, 3 agility, 2 hull, 2 shields. Uh, has a focus target lock boost, which is one of the only ships in the game that has it. Uh, and the evade action as well as a missile upgrade for 17 points. Then you go up to the green squadron, 3 skill, uh, 19 points total. Uh, the interesting part about the green squadron is that it does have a pilot skill upgrade, though. Um, whereas the A-Wings are weird because they have um, the prototype, which doesn't have a pilot skill. Then they have the green squadron, which does... And generally, their lower of the two named pilots do not have a pilot skill upgrade. Oh, they copy the prototype. Yep. Okay. So we have the first named pilot is Jimmer, mm -hmm. So Wan, So Young. So Young. <laughs> um, a wing, pilot skill five, um, two attacks, three evade, two hull, two shields, has a focus, target lock, boost, and evade. Um, he's 22 points. And he also has the missile yep. um, upgrade. Um, and his ability says, while you are at range one of at least one enemy ship, increase your agility value by one. So the interesting part about that is you do not have to be in that ship's firing arc. So as long as you're just next to an enemy ship at range band one, you're getting four agility dice. Uh, so, so it's negating his plus one dice. It'll neg either negate his plus one dice, or if you can pilot efficiently, you can get next to that ship at range band one, be in firing arc of other ships, ships there. not that ship. Yes, yeah, true. So that you're not getting that penalty of being all up close and personal with this range one ship, but still get your range one benefit. Right. It's an interesting uh, upgrade, or uh, pilot skill, or ability, but, but I don't it's think... a little underwhelming compared to a few of the other upgrades, or pilot skills. Uh, he doesn't have the pilot skill upgrade, so that's kind of going to lean people away from him. Uh, when A-Wings don't have barrel roll to help them get out of firing arcs. Yeah. Uh, they do have boost actions, which will help, but um, I think we're not going to see too much of him in actual gameplay, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Ship uh, variants of the pack is Jake Farrell. He's a skill 7 uh, pilot skill. He also has the pilot uh, title upgrade for 24 points. And he reads, after you perform a focus action or are assigned a focus token, you may perform a free boost or barrel roll action. Which is awesome because he doesn't have the barrel roll as an action. Oh. Um, so, again, probably another person you're going to run uh, push the limit on. Because he's going to 
take a focus action, get a focus, barrel roll, then he can boost after that. Or just focus, target lock, get a free boost and barrel roll out of the equation there. Um, but this will work with that um, Hawk battery. The Oh, yeah. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. The, the Hawk, Hawk battery. The, yeah, with the, the title, the, he just keeps generating focus mm-hmm. and he could give it out to people. Uh, which means he'll, as long as he's in range of receiving it, he'll get it. He can barrel roll. When it's his turn, he'll focus barrel roll. So it's wow. going to add a lot of maneuverability to the ship. Now, the downside to that is it's a very fragile ship to be feeding those kind of actions to. I haven't seen A-Wings do a lot of show and a lot of turn uh, they, race hours. They unfortunately haven't um, so because they're essentially glorified uh, TIE fighters. They only essentially have one hit point over a TIE fighter. Uh, mm. They do have a target lock over the barrel roll. But So you think maybe in that I, I, list? I think in a, a focus heavy list you'll see a lot of a, a, a decent amount, or at least a consideration of Jake, if not um, more gameplay of him. Mm. But so we'll go to the upgrade card. Now we're going to the juicy part. Yes. So the first card we have here, A Wing Test Pilot. That's the same. Okay. Um, it adds the up the uh, the pilot talent upgrade to your VAR. You cannot equip two of the same upgrade, and you cannot equip this card if your pilot skill is one. Surprise. You. Oh, it's zero, too. And it's a zero cost, because titles only add oh, okay. slots to your bars. Um, so, this is kind of amazing. Uh, I actually made a list of all A-Wings, generally uh, green pilot uh, A-Wings. And they all, this gives them two of those skill, uh, pilot skill upgrades. So you put push the limit and outmaneuver. The A Wing is the fastest ship on the uh, Rebel arsenal. So you're using your focus, um, you're using your focus and boosting to get into position. Then you're using outmaneuver to lower their dice pool so that your two attack dice can actually do something. Mm. Um, funny part is, it says A-Wing Test Pilot, and the only card that this won't go on is a prototype des- test pilot. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, and no, this is a- A-Wing only. Yep. It's an A-Wing only title. Um, you think this will make A-Wings a little bit more I I think we're going to see some interesting combinations of the two pilot skill uh, upgrades. Um, I'm interested to see what other people come up with. I know push the limit outmaneuver is not super exciting, but I've been going through an outmaneuver craze lately. (laughs) Uh, So seeing that on A-Wings gets me excited for the current meta state of the game. Hopefully we'll see more A wings with this upgrade. Okay, I got um, Chardan mm-hmm. refit. It's A wing only. This card has a negative squad point cost. So this is um, it's awesome. What basically <laughs> is, I'm not going to put an our torpedo on this ship. I'm going to put this upgrade in it just to give me more points so I could spend it somewhere else. Exactly. It 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 it's only goodness. It's only good. Um, if you weren't going to run a missile, why have the two points of what your card is essentially costing to have the missile upgrade? Put one of these bad boys on there, get two points back. Wow. Because why not? So the cheapest one... You can get a, a 15 points A-Wing. 15 points A-Wing. And that, is that... Um, that is three points more expensive than a TIE Fighter, but you're getting one additional hit point shield um, and also a considerable amount of agility with the boost action. 
So it is better than I, the two points. The only thing that the TIE Fighter has over the A-Wing in that respect is the barrel roll, uh, okay. which is Very important. more horizontal maneuverability rather than Forward. vertical, yeah. uh, staying in line kind of thing. Okay. But we're going to see a lot of refits coming up. Is there an A-Wing right now that has two missiles? No. no. So most times you're going to use this That would ones. be interesting. Oh my goodness. Try and give an A-Wing a missile and then put two of these bad boys on there. Ugh. Too <laughs> bad. Um, so the next upgrade card we have is the B-Wing E2. It's the B-Wing modification only. Uh, it adds a crew slot to your card, which costs one. Um... I'm not sure of what uh, crew cards I would want on my B-Wing, besides the two that are coming out in this pack, which we'll get to later. Um, it's it's a, a very unique card. Um, I like the picture of it, too. It has another dude getting Jumping. in the cockpit, so it shows that extra so crew. It but doesn't blow your... It's not blowing my mind, but I've never been a person for crew upgrades. Okay. Um, I think we'll see some interesting combinations on a kind of a ship that gets fully loaded out to the max to even get more fully loaded out to the max. The problem is it's a modification, so it's taking up a lot of those boost uh, engine upgrades, shield upgrades, upgrades that are considered more defensive for uh, a card that could do something for you. Okay. So we see more. I got um, enhanced scopes. During your action phase, treat your pilot skill value as one, a zero. Mm -hmm. It costs one cost. And it's a sensor upgrade. So Why? what this does is it allows you to move first and have your actions first. Oh, uh, and then shoot and you first. still retain your pilot skill for the shooting phase. Uh, a lot. Uh, I watched some coverage at Gen Con for this. Uh, the designers pretty much specifically said this is for the shuttle. Well, there's a lot of bumping mechanics to keep the shuttle from uh, getting its activation, not getting its full effectiveness out onto the field. This is the response to that. As long as you're flying in formation and you know what your shuttle is going to be moving with, you will still get your move and action. As long as you don't uh, bump into something. So people were using the bump? They were bumping the shuttle so that it couldn't target lock, so the target lock shuttle can't do its do shenanigans. Um, other than the shuttle or large ships with sensor upgrades, um, can, can this go in the Falcon? Or no, no. Uh, actually, the only large ship that has a sensor upgrade is the uh, shuttle. Oh, it's just just for the shuttle right now. There's actually only three ships in the four game, four ships in the game that have the sensor upgrade. That's the Phantom, B Wing, Shuttle, and E Wing now. Oh. Wow. Um. It'll be interesting for those large ship, up uh, an upgrade for a large ship. But other than that, I don't see it making a mm. debut anytime soon. And then the juiciness, proton rockets. This is an amazing card. It is a two attack die at range band one. It reads attack focus. Discard this card to perform this attack. You may roll additional attack dice equal to your agility value. To a maximum of three. That's a three point wow. missile upgrade. Technically, this is it awesome. A five. Yes, the max it will be is a five. This is amazing. When it it's very cheap. When it says the three additional dice, would that consider like range band one? Um, unfortunately, because it's a secondary uh, oh, you don't get the bonus weapon, you don't get the bonus for range band one. But what this does is. Of course, it's tailored to the A-Wing as it has an A-Wing on the card. And it already has its three agility dice, so you're getting the most out of this card. 
but this is also going to bring in Imperial players into the play. Because TIE Advance are going to come back with a Vengeance they because have they have a Missile Slot. And they have Agility 3? And they have Agility 3 base. Uh, TIE Defenders will be putting this bad boy on there because they have Agility 3 already. Uh, they're actually a fairly beefy ship by themselves. And now they'll have a, a 5 attack dice attack at range band 1. The downside is it does require a focus in order to use. So unless you're getting another focus from another source or a target lock, uh, there's really no modifications that can be done to these dice. Um, but I think we're going to see a lot more missile plays from the Imperial And this side. is a one-shot? It is a one-shot deal. Okay. Um, I think we're going to see a lot more missile plays from the Imperial side. Uh, I think the Rebels have a lot of just generically good stat lines with their ships that they probably won't be running this too much unless they're running A-Wings. So you're either going to be putting a three-point missile on your A-Wing or negative two-point slot taking out the missile upgrade with the uh, Cheridan uh, refit with your A-Wings. Very excited for that card. I'm interested yeah. to see what they do, what Imperial players do with it. Um, go ahead with Kyle. Spoiler, he just spoiled it. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle Katarn. Um, Rebel only. After you remove a stress token from your ship, you may assign a focus token to your ship. Three cost. What's with Kyle and focus? He really likes focus. He's a Jedi. <laughs> Focus is like the Force Atonement thing. Even Luke doesn't do that much stuff with Focus. He has a free... He, he turns one uh, Focus die mm -hmm. on the agility to a, a dodge. Um, so this is the second cut to Kyle Katarn? Or he's a, there's another? That is because Kyle Katarn is also flying the, uh, the Hawk. Hawk. So you cannot have the Hawk Kyle Katarn and this Kyle Katarn out on your same side. Okay, so if you're running the Hawk with Kyle, then you can't use this. Exactly. Okay. Um, which, Kyle, is that Hawk, the focus battery that the we Hawk, talked yeah. about before. So, um, you think he... If you're not running a Hawk, and you are running a lot of push to limits, Kyle's amazing. Uh, for three points. Now the question is, what ship would be running push to limit? That could get a, a crew slot. Oh wait, the B wing just got an upgrade, a modification that gives it a crew slot. What? And the seven. What? There's pilots, synergy within the box. Yeah, uh, uh, and then the pilot skill seven uh, far lander B wing. When you remove a focus, or you can remove a focus to change all your hits into a uh, to change all your focus icons into hits. And then I get a free focus? Hmm. Yes, please. Why not? So, so it, it, it's going... Farlander and Kyle are Farlander buddies. Farlander and Kyle <laughs> are buddies. Um, so we're going to see him with probably some uh, Millennium Falcon play as well. That's what I was going to ask you next to. Yeah. You have Kyle, Han, and Chewie, and Luke... <laughs> <laughs> the band of brothers all in the same boat. <laughs> It'll be fun. Uh, the last upgrade card is Jan Ors, a rebel card only. And she reads, once per round, when a friendly ship at range band 1 to 3 performs a focus action or would be assigned a focus token, you may uh, assign that ship an evade token instead. She costs two points in in and is also a crew slot. Um, she is interesting. Um, now she's rebel only, which means she's tailoring to the rebel weakness of not having a lot of evade actions on the rebel side. In fact, I think only two ships 
without modifications have upgrade uh the the dodge uh the evade action on their ship cards which is the e-wing and the a-wing um the question is when would you prefer a evade token over a focus token because focus is you know i think it'll be better both sides yeah. of the coin um maybe on farlander because he's going to be uh using his focus or stress tokens to be a little bit more aggressive but she does have synergy with kyle yes because whenever you give yes. a focus to a ship they get a free they'll get a free evade essentially so yeah. her with having a ship with her with the with focus kyle. battery hawk kyle mm-hmm mm-hmm so you're giving out a focus a, and an just evade. St- giving out a bunch of focus and stuff like that, you can give out some evades for those ships that desperately need it with the agility one or agility two. So X wings with the evade token would be amazing. Or if or your front your front ships that's going to take the first mm-hmm. blunt of the enemy force rather than just you know. having a focus for maybe a defense result. You're guaranteed a defense result. Yeah. So what do you think about it, the whole... Um, is there enough ships, enough cards to, to shake up the meta a little bit? Uh, one, I think the models look amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, superb job there. <laughs> that we never... There's no bad models when it comes to x oh, no. <laughs> Um There's a lot of interesting play with the upgrade synergy with the... Uh, um, ship synergy I almost would have liked more of an oomph in the A-wing emphasis to bring them back into the to bring them picture. back into the play but I think they did that with the A-wing upgrade cards rather than the A-wing pilots, pilots. because the missile upgrade and getting an extra uh, pilot skill upgrade very good and which you can only do on A-wings now um, overall, uh, good pack. I okay. enjoyed it. And it's good for both sides. So They do a very good job of making sure that Imperial players want it too. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so definitely pick up your Rebel Aces once it becomes available to you. Yeah. Um, we'll probably be getting some battle reports with oh, the yes, new X-Wing hopefully. pack relatively soon. Uh, and we'll see how it shakes up the meta. There you go. So, guys, thank you for joining us, and see you in the next video.